In this video, we're going to use a real-world terrain, a real-world satellite map that is 32768 by 32768, so it will require virtual texture within Unreal Engine 5. This is going to be a way that you can create a really nice high-resolution real-world terrain setup. Now, if you've got your own LiDAR or drone footage that you have for your own height map and, and uh, texture satellite map, you'll be able to use those using this technique to create a nice high-resolution terrain. I'm not going to be keeping the terrain at a resolution scale of 1 to 1, though. It's going to be compressed, but the texture itself will be full size. Now, there's lots of ways that you could do this. I'm going to be using Terrasculptor 3. You could also use Earth Explorer and Google Maps and MapZen and NextZen. And there's lots of different packages available on the internet to be able to use to get both the real world height map and the satellite map. I'm just using Terrasculptor 3 to do both. So first off, I'm going to download the topography for it. I'm going to go with Henry Mountains. And I want this to be a 32768 by 32768 satellite map. So I'm just going to make note of these coordinates. Zoom 9, tile X 97, tile Y 196. Any satellite system, such as MapZen and stuff, or even a lot of the Google map information, is all either using XYZ or TMS style tiles. So they're going to be the same tile numbers across all of those different platforms. So I'm going to download this now. I'm going to be doing this video in cuts so that you don't have to sit here through all of the download sessions for this. First of all, I'm going to download the satellite map. Then I'm going to download the height map. Okay, the satellite map is downloaded, so now I'm going to download the height map. Make sure I'm using the same zoom in tiles. And instead of going with the three meter data, I'm going to use the six meter data since I'm going to be shrinking it down smaller anyway. This is a 32768 by 32768, which is too large for Unreal Engine World Partition Landscape. So I'm going to be shrinking it down to 16,321 by 16,321, which is the maximum size. So the, I'm going to download the 6 meter data. So now we'll go away again while this waits and downloads, and we'll come back to the video as soon as this is done. The height map has now finished downloading. I'm going to be resampling it to a smaller size so that we get greater detail in Unreal Engine. But for now, I'll just save this and then I'll resample it.
For my initial test of this, I'm going to uh, go with the 16321 by 16321 height map size, which is the largest size that you can go in Unreal Engine and still have edit layers enabled. We're dealing with four gigabytes of data here for the height map, so it takes a little bit of time to do any processing on it. I'm going to be keeping the extents the same between the height map and the satellite map so that when I texture it in Unreal Engine, I can go with one-to-one -one texturing for the satellite map and it will match up with the terrain. There's our terrain system. I'll probably go with this scaling in Unreal Engine as well. So everything is going to be a little bit exaggerated on the terrain. I'll have to try it and see how well it looks in Engine and possibly adjust it. So I'm just going to export this as a PNG. And then we'll prepare the importing of all of the assets into the Unreal Engine 5 and see what it looks like as a high resolution terrain with a satellite map virtual texture on it. So I'm going to cut the video here and switch to Unreal Engine. Okay, we're using Unreal Engine 5.4.3 and I'm going to create a new third person project. Call it Henry VT for the Henry Mountains with a virtual texture. You know, one of the first things I need to do is go into the project settings. Search for virtual and enable the virtual texture support. I'm also going to change the tile size to 2048. And this requires a restart. Now virtual textures will be enabled, so when I drag and copy the 32768 by 32768 texture into here for my satellite map, it will actually be, uh, become a virtual texture. Now one thing that you didn't see is I ended up having to change the 32768 by 32768 original satellite map from a PNG file to a JPEG because otherwise the PNG file is bigger than two gigs in size and Unreal Engine just will not read it. It fails to read it. So I'm going to create my material and stuff here first. Here's my detail texture. And here's my high resolution texture. OK, 
Okay, those are both imported in. Now I'm going to create the material. I'm doing this first because when you go to import the terrain, if you don't assign a material during import, it takes like a half an hour to change the material after, especially if you've got a large material. I'm not using the detail texture node because I've had nothing but problems using it. So I'm doing a detail texture the old fashioned way. So there we go. There's my terrain material. That should all be correct. I don't think I got anything wrong there. So what we'll do now is we'll import the landscape. Looks pretty good. It's a little low though. better. I'm just going to keep the scale the same. The actual source height map is actually six meter data, but I'm going to be scaling it to one meter here. So everything will actually be tighter in. And we'll assign the material and let's import. Now I'm going to be cutting again on the video here because this is going to take half an hour or so with all the region creation and everything. So I'll cut the video here and come back when it's done. Okay, the landscape has finished importing. I made a couple of other adjustments on it, which took a little bit of time. But now we've got a landscape complete with a 32768 by 32768 satellite map virtual texture on it. So as you can see, we've got a really nice, really nice looking texture system. And I put a detail texture on it as well.
a nice big 16 kilometer by 16 kilometer satellite map textured terrain. This of course will look better if the source height map data is actually one meter data or finer resolution. Whereas what I did here is I took six meter data and scaled it down to one meter. It would look much better if it was actual true one meter data. And then if the satellite overhead texture map was also very fine resolution as well, you would end up with a very nice looking map. But this basically shows a quick way how to get a satellite texture, virtual texture, on top of a large terrain system. It's actually quite easy, very few steps, very simple process. That's it for this video.